So this is the lovely lady that, that Toby was preaching to right here. Pray for her in the name of Jesus. This is the lovely lady that tried to run over Todd Bullis yesterday. Pray for her in the name of Jesus. We don't want no ill don't coming lie. upon her. That's against the Bible too. Okay. Don't lie now. Come well, on. we have the video on record. Don't lie. Don't lie. <laughs> you know what you did, man. Repent. <laughs> See, no, hey, it's all good. I love her. I love all these. I love everybody out here. Hey, first of all, oh, hey, brothers, brothers and sisters, I appreciate y'all being here. Thank you for coming out and for standing up for what you believe is the truth. Let's see what your sign says. You should abort this abortion protest. Why? Why do you think we should abort it? Because it's, what's the point? The point is to bring the gospel of the kingdom of God into conflict with the evil of abortion. Okay, so, so, okay, hold on, hold on. So that, that's a funny, do you want to? Do you want to talk about it or do you just uh, want to turn around? No, I'll probably keep laughing. Keep talking. It's okay. You can laugh. You can laugh. Here, why don't you? Because I want to explain to you how the only way we can have actual liberty and rights is if God exists. Wait. Okay? The only way you can have rights is if God exists. Wait, who said God didn't exist? Okay, so oh, I thought you laughed at the fact that Jesus existed. What? Yeah. Right. Isn't that what you laughed at? No. Why would I laugh at you? Oh. Everyone knows God exists. Oh, awesome. So everyone knows it. So you're a Christian? Yes. So you're a Christian and you think, see, this is the thing. This is the Christianity that's taught in the churches where it is a mockery of God and that there is no way that Christians should stand against the slaughter of the unborn. See, do, do you know that what Jesus says is what you do unto the least of those in society, like the little babies on those signs over there, you do directly unto me. Do you know that he says that? Or what you have not done to the least in society, you do directly unto him. See, Jesus came to earth. And I'm, I'm telling you this because I love you, not to oppose you, because I love you. I want you to know the truth. All you're getting over there in that secular humanist indoctrination center is, is the idea that man can decide what law is. And that man basically just gets to... But that hasn't worked out in society very well. When, man, when a group of man gets together and decides what law is, you can come up with some pretty wicked stuff. You know, I mean, it's not right just if a society decides something is right, is it? The law of God has to be established. Justice has to be established. And this is like the popular thing to come against. See, see what we're doing, abolitionists in the 18, when the 1800s, when abolitionists actually brought the gospel of the kingdom of God into conflict with the evil of slavery. Do you know what happened? This isn't a question. I'm, 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 t I'm teaching you the truth. Are you, are you oh, getting anything from this? Oh, you're asking me a question. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... Pray for the brother. Pray for the brother. Okay. Do you want to? Uh, do you want to? Uh, yeah. You want to uh, defend this sign right here. So we got crusty, crusty crab unfair. Okay. So like, yeah. if you take a look yeah. at that poster over there, it's. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, it would lead you to believe that it's an abortion, but it's a miscarriage, um, or an illegal abortion, which is what's going to happen if abortion is abolished under the law. You put two things out on the table so far. Do you want me to respond to those yet, or you want to keep going? Um, you, you can go ahead and. Okay, just yeah, because and, and first of all, I appreciate you coming out to talk. Hold on, let me let me let me turn let me turn this off. I want to scream in your face. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's a respectful brother who's coming out here and wants to put the worldview of humanism on display and believes he has truth to share and, and believes that we're out here and doing something that's wrong, so he wants to communicate that truth to us, correct? Yes, okay, awesome. So that's what we want. We want that discussion in the public square. So much respect, first of all. And, and first of all, before I answer those questions, you see, we're not out here with any kind of hatred towards y'all. You see out here that, that we're, we're out here expressing. Okay, now, first of all, that right there, that right there, do you know that ab abortion is legal in seven states all the way up through all nine months of pregnancy? I think it's the first trimester everywhere. No, it's actually not. That's what it, that's what it is in secular humanist Western Europe. That's in secular humanist Western Europe. So the pro-life... Second yeah. trimester in most places? In Texas, it's 20 weeks. Now, you got to realize, I, I've been out here, we, we, we're not just, this isn't the first time we're doing this. <laughs> so uh, it, 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 in Texas, it's 20 weeks. So the first trimester would be what? 12 weeks, right? And the word trimester itself is a dehumanization tactic done by Harry Blackman in the 1973 Roe v. Wade decision. Well, you gotta count it somehow. Yeah. Well, no, but yeah. but do you know why? No, like, no, but do you know why they did that? Yeah. Does that yeah. dehumanize like me? No, 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 no. But the reason why they did it is to make is, is to make babies that are that are younger, like less less old, less developed like feel like they're less human well, so that was part are. of the they don't even have much brain development yet they're but that's dumb. okay so that's the thing here's the argument that you just made so then, then a newborn is not as human as you are right 
a newborn at least has brain development. No, but a, hum a new a newborn doesn't like pr doesn't show sentience and thought and things like that. So it's obviously not the newborn isn't obviously as developed as you. So you, what you're saying is a newborn is less valuable than you. What I'm saying that a newborn isn't the same as a penis. I'd say that's not a, that's yeah. a valid argument. Okay. No, she just said level of development. Level of development. It makes one human. The fact that they have development okay. in a newborn is very different. So what this. point of the level of development all of, all of a sudden punches the clock and you're a human being? As soon as a human being starts learning about the human world, that's when I'd consider it can be. Human. Oh wow! So that's that's tough. That's Obvious. like a cognitive stage. So that's Obvious. that's going all the way into like three or four. You know, Peter Singer in Princeton University. Peter Singer, seriously, hates women, but but I this brother, <laughs> no, it's all good, man, it's all good. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. It's all good, yeah, yeah. Get the hate, get the hates women. See, see, they they have signs like hates women, right? I love y'all, man. Y'all are y'all are totally cool for coming out here. Yeah. Hey, they have they have. Hold on, yeah. Let, let me get. It. See, they have signs like hates women, right? They have signs like that, right? But they're the ones that hate the 600,000 women that are slaughtered every year in abortion. And a lot of times what happens is, how's that? <laughs> is that hey, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. And, and, then, there's, and then there's sex selective abortions too, where some people can find out that it's a girl and slaughter it just because it's a girl. And more sex selective, sex selective abortions happen because of females, because somebody is a female. Yeah. Huh? You got one woman out here. No, yeah, if you're, if, you're, if you're saying, no, abortion in general, the murder of the unborn in general, if it's legal, then all, and it's never legal according to, what's, hold on. It's never leading according to God's law. We have flower power here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. awesome, 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 cool. Yeah. Okay, so these are normally what their signs are. Flower power and then like advocate for the right to slaughter babies based on any kind of just arbitrary uh, human distinction. So let's 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 finish your question here. So you're saying that basically, okay, so that was, so we've already refuted the uh, the sign being not not accurate. Not, not accurate. So that okay. So you you agree with me there? That doesn't mean that you're 100 percent wrong. Your next objection was. Next objection. Gosh, I'm not sure. Do you know? Like. The, oh yeah. Well, exactly well if, where it came from. yeah. No, no. Exactly. Yeah, and, and and we do, and I can I can share those web. They, the, all these pictures are verified. You got to realize we leak all across the country with this kind of stuff. And, yeah, I, I understand you know. that. So uh, I mean, if we were you know having the, these are what you know late abortions and early abortions look like but at the end of the day it's not about the age we our argument is that even at the embryonic stage the only difference between you as an embryo and you and today is size level of development environment or degree of dependency that you're distinct living and whole as the smallest unit of yourself and the largest unit of yourself and there's nothing that needs to happen to you down the line to make you human no arbitrary human decision can decide that you are human now and unhuman at another time if you can see how that is consistent with universal human rights and 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 any other view is not consistent with universal human rights. The arguments that were used to keep slavery legal in the eyes of man are the same arguments that are being used today in favor of abortion. You know what they said with slaves? Oh, they'll never survive on their own. They'll never survive on their own. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And we'll get back to the other question because you did have something good there. Yeah. Okay, if you accomplish a um, you know, getting abolishing abortion. abortion. Yeah. Are you going to take responsibility for the women who are going to go out of their way to find a way to abort their children? Yeah, that's an awesome question. Thank you for bringing that question. Thank you so much for bringing that question. And uh, um, here's the thing: we think that murder should never be safe. If abortion is murder, it should never be safe under any circumstance. Would we? You would see. You wouldn't apply that reasoning if it was like killing a two-year-old, would you? You wouldn't say, well. You know, killing two-year-olds shouldn't be legal. Shouldn't be illegal because people are going to kill them anyway, and it's just going to be more unsafe for the murderer. We don't want to make the activity more safe for the murderer. Do you see what I'm saying? So that is our answer to that. If you have any other questions, too, well, see, go it's ahead. Just like once you like get rid of abortion, people are going to find a way. It's just like right, right. prohibition. So right. Well, if, first of all, so not now women are more likely to be killed as well as the children that they're trying to abort. Apologize. First of all, the numbers will go down, but that's not the point. The point is apply that. We're, we're trying to establish justice. So apply the statement that you just made to like rape. So rapes will still be legal. Rapes will still happen if they're made if they're made uh, illegal. Rapes will still happen like if rape was legal. Rapes will still happen if they're made illegal. Let's make it safer for the rapist so we don't have two people that are that are damaged in the in the. So it's 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 what is the act of abortion? And the act of abortion is the brutal murder of an image bearer of God in the place of the incarnation. That's what it is. And it's supported in, in, in Texas, in Texas, right there. In Texas, there are over, 
In Texas, there are over 70,000 pastors, over 30,000 Bible-believing churches. The gentleman over here that's holding that sign, that just put that sign up above uh, this, this nice student's head, uh, he said, oh, I'm a Christian, and he came out scoffing like, y'all shouldn't be out here protesting evil. Well, it was Christians throughout history that protested evil. It was Christians during the 1800s that came out and abolished slavery, like William Lloyd Garrison and people like that. And they were hated most by who? By the church. To be fair, yeah. Christians also instituted slavery in America. So I don't say that's a right Yeah, but, but does it, and that's a great objection, great objection, by the way. Does, is the institution, because Christians have done bad things, does that mean that it's reflective of Christianity? Well, I didn't say the same for your good things. That's no, argument. you know you and have to. to mark the case that abortion yeah. is the same as rape. That's yeah. not necessarily a valid argument, just because. No, no, no. It's not. Of course. Another person, like you say, it does. If it's a woman, you wouldn't make that comparison if you wouldn't outright admit that. You've put a couple things on the table here, both very, very good. First of all, the reason why we believe abortion is wrong is the same reason why we believe that rape is wrong. We believe abortion is wrong because it brutally takes advantage of, murders, destroys, brutalizes a smaller body by a bigger body. And rape brutally takes advantage of a smaller body by a bigger body. And the reason why we were drawing that comparison and that parallel over here was because she said the common argument that if you make abortion illegal, mothers are just going to abort anyway. Mothers are just going to murder their children anyway, so should we, we should make it more safe. And that's why I was crossing the bridge there to make the parallel. Now, we're not pro-life. We're actually abolitionists. Pro-lifers kind of stay away from the question of rape and make exceptions and things like that. We believe that children shouldn't be punished for the crimes of their father, and we believe that rapists should be executed in prison instead of being fed with tax dollars. And it's justice should be established and not punishing the baby but punishing the rapist what the humanists teach in schools like this what the humanists teach is that the the rapist should be fed by tax dollars and everything like that and the mother should go ahead and slaughter the baby that is what is taught in statist humanist and secular indoctrination zones i mean to be fair yeah. now that you're saying you shouldn't punish the baby if the yeah. father makes a mistake yeah now you're simply punishing the person who has the baby if the father makes the a person has already been punished make a already, already, been, punished already been punished by having the rape yeah 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 oh, no we're not talking jail. about that no no and, and absolutely we what we want to do is we want to institute the penalty for first degree murder for all people all mothers who murder their children and you're never going to get to yeah. do that you're okay. never going to get to we do are going to be able to do that tried a, a oh, you had really i want to answer that objection have you, you have with that that was a good have one with christianity really tried a method that works i want to i want to answer one it i have the yeah, 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 biggest yeah. ways to okay. prevent abortion is not science first of it's, all it's i want to thank poverty. you for talking go ahead it reduces yeah. reducing poverty yeah. eliminates the need for abortion you yeah. you help women you help them get jobs you help them create a better living situation okay. and you do provide better access to health care okay. those are the two proven statistically proven methods to prevent abortion so i'd like to see you put your energy okay. into that we that actually hold on let me answer okay. that we hey you don't want to see that's what the that's what the pro boards do that's what the protesters do they state an argument and then they leave see she's nowhere to be found we actually are the ones that provide assistance. We are the ones, like if you look at that guy across the street speaking with the two kids, Todd Bullis, he's adopted eight children, eight children so far. Providing assistance for, the, for people in society does not mean whatsoever. Providing assistance for people in society does not mean we don't stand against murder. We do both. And we, 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 we assist and then we agitate against the crime of murdering the unborn to establish God's law, to establish justice. Did you have a uh, Did you have a question? I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. I'm just standing. Are you oh. hungry? You look like you've been standing out here for <laughs> Look at this. You're just hey, talking. This is so sweet. This is see the a lot of hey a lot of these high schoolers. I love this school. This has been my favorite school that I that I that I've come to so far. These these kids, you know, they'll 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 talk with you. They'll debate with you. They'll bring you food. They'll they'll put their worldview on display. But hold on, let me let me ask you what your worldview is. Do you have a uh, are you are you for the murder of the unborn or against the murder of the unborn being so called legal? Me personally, I do not believe in abortions. That's just my personal opinion. Okay. However, comma I have to kind of give leeway to my fellow sure. students, you know, this is our school and there, sure. you know, some people's political opinion sure. is very strong. And when I come to school, sure. especially for me, what's been hard is having to deal with hearing other people's opinions. Mm -hmm. And when I come to school, I don't want to hear political opinions. I want to sure. get my education. I want to sure. talk. Sure. So I appreciate what y'all are doing and, I, and I agree with you and, and I'm not trying to dispute it. No. But if anything, if I could argue anything, maybe yeah. next time put it maybe down the road, maybe not at my school, <laughs> you know, because then this happens, you know, and then fights between friends, fights between as well teachers. As, like, people are not going to take you seriously like, exactly how okay first of all how am i going to refute what she just said when she came and brought me a breakfast sandwich you know what i'm saying like what a wonderful she's so great okay look here's the thing first of all everywhere we go 
they tell us to go somewhere else. Yeah. We go to the abortion mill to stop the mothers from going in there to, to, to murder their kids. We're not supposed to be there. We go to the colleges. Ah, no, people have paid a lot of money. They don't want us to go there. We go to the town square after people have got out of church and everything like that to go eat their breakfast and stuff, like the wonderful breakfast you just brought for me. They don't want us over there ruining their breakfast. Hi, how you doing? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So that everywhere we go, no one wants nobody and wants us. And and back. why and why do you think that is? Well, because yeah. my opinion is, you know, people don't yeah. like hearing what they don't agree with. Yeah, exactly. But let's here's here's the thing. You mentioned a I don't want politics. I just want you know to my, learn my education. my education. See, here's the thing. That's a that's a secular humanist. That is a staple secular humanist statement. It compartmentalizes life. Like there's such thing as education away from politics. Politics is about rulership and whose rules should be instituted and applied and things like that. They'll also say, and I, would you agree with the statement that uh, uh, that you can't legislate morality or that religion is separation of church and state? See, that's the thing. What we're saying is that all laws are by nature religious. All laws are by nature religious, and the reason why is because the source of law, the, the religious, the, the ideas of a society are encoded in laws. And so what people believe about right and wrong is encoded in the law. And so by that way, all laws are religious. So you can never disestablish religion, or if you want to substitute religion for the word worldview, perception, there's going to be some perception that always is dominant, or some religion so-called that always is dominant. And what secular humanist indoctrination centers trick people into thinking is that they're not teaching religion, but they are teaching religion. They're teaching that man gets to decide what's right and wrong. They're teaching that all opinions are basically equal. Oh, uh, here, can I get in here? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my man, you know, my man. They're teaching that all things are basically equal. Just don't like you. Hold on, wait a second. Do you just not like me, or do you not like my? Do you not like our audience? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you guys are, are people. So. Yeah. Good. I don't like your idea over there. Okay, so you don't like the idea. No, 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 no. I'm not yeah. gonna get in this with you. Ah, uh, yeah, come on, man. Yeah. We all yeah. agree on this. I yeah. just want to graduate. Okay. This is all I want, guys. Yeah. yeah. This is all I ever okay, wanted. Good. Okay. Pay for your college. Hey, hold on. Okay, look, hold on. Here, here we go. Pay for the college tuition, and he'll switch sides. What do you think about that? You want to put a donate now button on this Facebook Live real quick for my man? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, that's that. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna show your sign. That's awful. That is awful. I'm not gonna show her sign because she looks way too nice to be holding that sign. She looks like a, a nice young lady. Good. So, uh, uh. So this is like, I mean, this is what this is what lighting up the darkness is about. You know what we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back up. Yeah, of course. No, no. Thank you for asking your question. Yeah. Well, I know like y'all want to get y'all's voices, and I respect y'all. You know, I have different beliefs. That's sure, sure, sure. But instead of protesting, why not advocate for a class to teach us more about abortion, what it does to the bodies as well? Yo, that is an awesome question. First of all, do you know what the either or fallacy is? No, sir. Okay. The either or fallacy is presenting two options as if they're like kind of mutually exclusive, like as if you do one or you don't do the other. Okay, it is very important for Christians to advocate to get inside the secular humanist indoctrination centers. As a matter of fact, I spoke with your uh, student reporters yesterday and did an interview with them. And uh, we actually have the interview posted on a Little Elm Abolitionist Society. And in that interview, I challenged any professor that you have in this school. I challenged any anybody, any student. It doesn't have to be somebody with papers. It doesn't have to be someone with a special degree or something like that. I challenged I all of them. Protest. Yeah. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I, 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 and hey, y'all are learning something about this. Is this is important? This is class. This is class. Even if you disagree, you're learning a worldview that you'll never hear in there. You'll never hear it. Well, actually, yeah, we and, and, do oh, no, talk but, about yeah. it. I'm not gonna lie, we yeah. do talk but about. But not it. like this. Not like God's law must be established to well, end see, humanism. Because we're such a diverse yeah. school, and we try to respect yeah. one another's religious views as, as well as yeah. politics. Like we we yeah. skim it. Yeah. Political. Worldview. Okay. Sorry, I have a stutter. Okay. So, well, I'd like to answer that because that actually brings up a very very important point about secular humanism. Uh, the there's a difference between religious plurality, which is a feature of secular humanism. Secular humanism teaches that all religions basically deserve one seat at the table, and you present kind of all views in a way where they're not too offensive, but you kind of learn the main kind of milky overhead points of what they would teach. But as soon as you get super offensive. 
Like, you don't learn, for example, that secular humanists, that men cannot make laws. You don't, you don't learn that. You don't learn that the only law that's law is God's law. But Martin Luther King said that an unjust law is no law at all, and all perfect law come from God himself. So if you agree with Martin Luther King and what he said about that, then you disagree with what's being taught in that school. So just presenting a lot of views as if they're all the same and as if they're all an option and if, as if, you know, presenting religious diversity, that's actually a tool of the enemy to hide eyes from the truth. Uh, Nietzsche said, the, the famous philosopher Nietzsche said, many truths, many eyes, lots of perspectives. That's kind of like, you know, that's, what to, that's what's to be admired. But we don't want to ever stand against evil. We don't want to do any of that, that kind of stuff. Now to answer the rest of your question about us going in there and not being out here, the Bible says that we're supposed to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, rather expose them. Okay, and so the Bible is the perfect standard for law. The Bible is. They, now, and today that sounds way out there, oh my goodness. But for the majority of Western civilization's history, it was the Bible was like the common law of man. And man's law, when it conflicted with the Bible, never ever ever was allowed to stand okay so it's not that we we, we want to be in there and i i asked your school newspaper to present the challenge to a debate to any teacher in there and super respectful they can pick the terms and all that other kind of stuff auditorium classroom outside here oh sorry i'm sorry i'm long-winded in my responses thank you for the sandwich hey Appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for being out here. Uh, I mean, kids that are willing to get out here and and uh, and put their worldview on display, uh, so that we can bring it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good. Hey, no time to talk to you, brother. Thank you for being out here. Thank you for your service. Check out the ch check out defytyrants.com. Defytyrants.com. It's a kind of quick plug for the lesser magistrates right here just snuck that in there but look when you and i'm going to be talking about this later when you talk about the lesser magistrates the doctrine of the lesser magistrates you have to include the fact that the magistrate is in sin 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 it's not about a matter that can be left to their conscience or whatever the case may be you're preaching truth you're preaching that the magistrates uh, a duty duty according to god's law is to establish and to stand up for justice to defend God's law, not man's law. And any police officer who's Christian or any governor that's Christian or a governor that's not Christian, I mean, actually, you know, that's breaking God's law by defending the slaughter of the unborn or any other, any other feature that doesn't line up with the law of God is in sin and needs to be told to repent. And if you know about the doctrine of the lesser magistrates and you hide that truth, then you're in sin too. And that's a tough that's a tough pill to swallow, but there's no neutrality. There's no room for it. Like, oh, we're just going to pray for this person and, and so on and so forth. You preach the doctrine of the lesser magistrates, it's weak.